okay so now display the okay so first thing is that right click here and uh, delete the empty components okay so you can see that we are left with uh, this part that is the rotor 2 so you can rename by right clicking here and uh, this one is the rotor 1 okay first thing that i'm going to do is that i'm going to create a one plane here and I will split this uh, shaft by this plane and remove the extra part that is outside the tank. Now we are going to make the domain. So first thing is that we have to hide the tank and uh, create the planes. One is on the top here and the second one would be here. And also hide uh, shaft. Okay, you can delete this plane. And uh, now we want to move this plane by 30 millimeters on the top and also the bottom. So uh, move it by 30 millimeters. This is the gap, I think, enough for the making the domain. So 30 millimeters from here. And uh, 30 millimeters on the bottom side so the the distance between these two planes should be 160 millimeters because the 100 millimeter is the size of the geometry and 30 millimeter is a gap from the top and bottom okay now select any plane and uh, make the domain so click on the y-axis and then click on the sketch plane and then click on circle and it should be from the center okay i think the good idea would be that because we are not able to uh, hold it on the uh, center point of anything so uh, good good idea would be that we should create the plane exactly on the this origin okay so select this plane and then sketching mode go there and click on the y-axis okay now make a circle is this requiring that we should select the sketching plane this is sketching plane and uh, click on the y-axis okay select the this origin point now easily and uh, make the circle so that this is uh, bigger than the our geometry this can be like uh, 560 550 so 560 may be also good so make it 560 okay now go to 3d mode again and uh, in the design menu so you you can see that we have the one surface here okay so one surface is over here yes okay so this is the first impeller impeller rotor one is here so i'm going to move this uh, surface on this plane which is here so up to here and number two is that i'm going to extrude this surface to make the volume that is going to be the control volume around the impeller one and similarly we do the same thing for the impeller two but for the second impeller we are going to just copy the domain so uh, i'm going to use the pull command and uh, no merge i don't want to merge the uh, impeller with uh, this volume because impeller will be like will be completely absorbed into domain so that that we don't want to do so that's why no merge and up to second plane okay now make it transparent by selecting here and uh, click on the transparent and now you can delete all these planes so now we have the one control volume. This is now not processed yet. But this is the one control volume with us. And uh, now I'm going to make the one plane over here. Okay. And uh, I will simply move this plane by 
30 millimeters in the upward direction. Okay, so now uh, let me hide the plane uh, rotor 1 and rotor 2 also. So basically, uh, okay, just display the rotor 2 for the reference. So I'm going to move this uh, control volume. Uh, I will make the copy. So the move command will be uh, will be same for copying or uh, just moving. So the control key will basically uh, will be like uh, when you want to copy. So we have to press the control key. So uh, triple click here. And because we want to be putting the upper surface on this plane, so we have to move this uh, uh, anchor point, anchor point, on the top of the surface. So when we refer this this location, and we uh, take it up to here, this will be like making them fuse together or mesh them. So now I'm going to press a uh, uh, control key. The control key is for copying, and where I want to put it on this plane. So this is like this. So you can display the rotor 1, rotor 2. So they are exactly the same thing. Okay. So they are exactly same. They are two rotors. They are the uh, the distance between them is I think uh, is uh, if you want to check. The distance between them is from the pull command. Okay, let's make this distance that is from this bottom surface to the top surface here. This is 600 millimeters. Okay, so now uh, you can display the solid 1, solid 2. We will put the, the proper names after we apply the operations. And uh, you can display the the tank here. Okay, so now uh, we have to basically subtract the volume, uh, these two volumes from the tank. Okay, so combined and uh, this volume and it should be removed. So this one is removed now. And uh, similarly, uh, the second volume on the bottom and extra part will be removed. And now let's uh, hide the uh, the solid bodies, these two solid bodies. You can see this is uh, these are going to be interfaces. Okay, now display shaft. And uh, now I am going to uh, remove this much part from the our main geometry. So again, I will be using combined command, and then the shaft. And uh, now extra parts. One is here, and second is here. Third one is not here okay so now you can hide the shaft and this is how the volumes are now made this is for the uh, for the tank so now you can hide it okay now go to the rotor one rotor two solid one solid two so we have to remove the these impellers from these volumes so again the combined command and the impeller and you have to remove the extra part that extra body that we have we have removed from the body and in a similar way select the second uh, control volume and the impeller and uh, remove extra bodies okay so this is going to be the our uh, rotating domain one and this will be the our rotating domain two Okay, and uh, now you can uh, suppress these two rotors and also hide them from the view. Okay, this will be like this. And now display the tank. And you have to remove the tank material also from the, the domain here. So, uh, combine command and first uh, impeller and the, the uh, shaft and remove extra material from here okay and similarly the second uh, domain and the shaft material and remove the extra material which is here so now you can uh, similarly you can uh, suppress the shaft and hide it okay so now let's uh, hide these uh, surfaces these faces 
and uh, make it also uh, the opaque this is for the hub and this is for the shaft okay so now this is control volume for the two dom rotating domains which includes the impellers and the one will be the for the tank so you can uh, take them on the top side like this and the the tank here and they will be on the bottom side the the volumes which are now suppressed they are on the bottom side 